And it's time for the coaches post game show brought to you by Winners Insurance. Joining Chad and I up here in the press box, Jack Cornell, whose team is now three and zero. Oh. Uh, that's a that's a solid Missouri small school Missouri football team. It sort of reminds me of last year when you were playing up against those four and five and six A teams, and. You held your own. I kind of understand what Marceline's trying to do here. Trying to get, did you have a chance to talk to the coach much beforehand to get an idea of, uh, you know, they're, they're stepping up in class? Yeah, not a whole lot. Uh, didn't really get a chance to talk to them. But obviously we knew that they had a lot of experience coming in. You know, we knew that they had quite a few seniors uh, that were going to be playing in this ball game. We knew that we had our work cut out for us. Uh, I'm really proud of the way our guys played tonight. Uh, really proud of the effort that you know the starters had, the backups had. I mean, everybody that got in this game contributed to a very big win. Just that was proud. one of the things Chad and I noticed throughout the ball game. Like, yes, your starters played well. And yes, your starters contributed. But as the game wore on, you were using a lot of guys again. There seems to be a little method to the madness there, but we're seeing a lot of sophomores, freshmen that are out there getting minutes. How important is that? Uh, for the importance of this season and for the importance of the program moving forward. It's huge. You know, I, there's no replacing experience, you know, and the only way to get experience is to get into a game. We didn't have any underclass games this week, so they gave us the ability to kind of play some more guys here in this ball game, uh, get them some of that valuable game experience and get them some minutes. Uh, but, you know, tonight, again, it was a little bit warm. We had some guys with some cramping issues again, so we had to rely on some backups to go in. Uh, and this was a good game for them to do that. So just want to continue to build on that, uh, you know, try to get more guys in the game, try to get them that experience, and hopefully to pay off down the road. And you got another score out of your defense. It makes it really easy for the offensive coordinator when your defense puts up at least seven for you every week, isn't it? Yeah, no kidding. I mean, whether it's uh, defense or special teams, I mean, anytime you score on a non-offensive play, it's a very exciting moment. It's a very, uh, you know, a lot of momentum goes into that uh, into that series. So. Uh, again, just very proud of the way our guys played, very proud of the way they responded, uh, and very proud of this win. Jackson Stratton, two touchdowns tonight and an interception. Uh, Gilliland with a touchdown, Lavery, I mean, all kinds of guys making big contributions. Where did you see the biggest improvement tonight in your squad? Yeah, just getting the ball around to guys and guys getting open and us making the easy throws. You know, I think we left some plays out there last week, uh, and even in that game against the Allman. Uh, and we just wanted to kind of execute and, and you know take the advantage of the easy plays that the defense gives us. And I think that's what we did. I think we've been close, you know, the last couple of weeks and even in the last couple of years of our offense kind of starting to break through. And today, I think we did that. Uh, you know, whether it was marching down the field that last drive in the first half. That's, I thought that was a critical play for, yeah. for you because it was at the end of the half, you knew you were going to get the kickoff back. For you to go 60 yards in two minutes, I think it has to give you a lot of confidence in what that offense is able to do. Absolutely, and it starts up front. Obviously, i got to give the big boys up front a lot of credit. They got after it today. You know, Nick Keller, Isaac Kincamper, Ben Schwartz, Wilson Henning, Garrett Flesner, I mean, all those guys up front. They're starting to really gel together as a unit, and uh, it's good to see them doing that this early in the season. You know, having to replace all five guys up front is a challenge, and these guys kind of took that challenge on uh, full speed ahead. And so it's very proud of the way they played. When those five guys play well, oh, the rest of the offense is going to play well. So very proud of the way that they played, and they continue to play. I haven't been around a whole lot this week, so I have to ask. Update on Baby Cornell. <laughs> Baby Cornell's still cooking. Uh, so obviously we have our first road game coming up, so that's going to cause a little bit more stress in the Cornell house. So but, how are you going to handle that? You know, what a question, Dave. I don't know. You know, uh, I, there's just some things that are better off, you know, I think left in the Cornell house. But, uh, you know, we're, we're obviously excited and we can't wait. Uh, Lauren's doing great. She's healthy. She's happy. We want to make sure she stays that way. Do you, know, have a, do you have a little offensive lineman on the way, or do we know yet? Don't know. Uh, we don't know yet. We're going to be surprised. All right. Hey, congratulations. Thanks very Thanks, much, Dave. Yep. Thank Appreciate you very much. Yep.